Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Ant, answering a question submitted by a student. This is a fairly easy question from geometry, but it involves some algebra, so there's a combination of skills that are needed here. Okay, so let's get started. The uh, The volume of uh, a box, they're calling it a box, which is the more general form would be to call it a prism. But the general way that you can find a uh, volume of a prism here, I'm just going to do a rectangle. So here's my rectangle here. So this is the length. Let's call that the length and the width and the height. And the volume is the length times the width. And I'm going to put a little parenthesis here times the height. Because another way of writing the volume formula is that it's the area of the base, which we represent with a script capital B times the height. And this is uh, the way it's taught, depending on what level of geometry you're taking and the school you're attending. Now, in this particular problem, we'll talk about box one. And I'm just going to change color here. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember how to change color. All right. It shouldn't be that hard. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I apologize. So box one will make that the green box. And you can see we need to look at it from this perspective. Volume equals the area of the base times the height in order to deal with this problem correctly. And you can see that the area of the base is x. So length would be x here. And the width would be 3x. Uh, it's, so it's going to be x by 3x is the area of the base. Now, coming over here, they're saying the overall dimensions are x. Well, we've already got an x. And then we've got a 3x here. And then an x cubed would be here. So the answer here would be the number of terms in the polynomial representing the volume would just be one term. The volume is going to be x. Let's see. x times 3x times x cubed. So that's going to be 3x to the fifth. Okay, so it's one term. It's a single term, 3x to the fifth, a single term here. And you, they might want to know the degree, and this would be a fifth degree. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do the other one. And I'll put this in purple here. So the volume here is going to be x times 4x minus 1. That's the, vo that's the area of the base. And then times the height, which would be x cubed. OK. And now 
we will multiply this out. So it's going to be, let's just deal with the x's first. So this is going to give us x to the fourth times 4x minus 1. And then we'll distribute the x to the fourth. So we get 4x to the fifth minus x to the fourth. So we're going to have two terms here. And the degree of the polynomial would be 5, just like the degree up here was 5. But this was a single term, and this is two terms. So that's all there is to it. It's really not um, that difficult just to fill this in. Those are the two situations that we're asked to solve for, and that's it. So it's kind of clever, but really, I think you could do this without too much trouble, even without knowing about this alternative formula for the volume of a prism. But I think once you understand that formula, it does make it easier to do this question. And that's probably why the students submitted it, because they just didn't have that type of understanding of the, uh, the problem that was being asked. So. I hope that was helpful to you, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.